Steve, I'm standing in someone's driveway right now, and obviously they can't get to their home because of this large tree that's blocking the way. But not only that, there's also power lines down blocking them from getting to their home. And there's not one tree, but two trees. There's another one down in their front yard. First responders in Bethsaida Hills using things like drones to help them in search and rescue efforts. And as you can see, it gives them a completely different view. If you look right behind me, you can see the plane that actually crashed. The first responders here on the scene that I spoke with say that they spoke with witnesses that say the plane landed just short of the landing strip here at Campbell's Field. Hundreds of evacuees from all over Florida have stopped here at this rest stop. And let me show you what they see when they walk inside, guys. Hundreds of donations from volunteers all over North Alabama, bringing anything from a hot meal, toiletries, anything they need, including a place to stay while they are running from Irma. Police need your help finding those men that were in this neighborhood, hopping from driveway to driveway, checking to see if cars were unlocked and stealing what was inside. And that has neighbors in this area locking up tight tonight. I just want to give you guys an idea of kind of how dry it is out here. This is what we're standing on, just straight dust and mounds of it. As you can only imagine, that is only fueling this fire right behind me. I'm going to step out of the shot so you guys at home can get a closer look at these fire lines. If you do pull over to watch the eclipse, make sure that you have these glasses that you want to wear. Now, regular old sunglasses, they won't work. But guys, I think these look better anyways. What do y'all think? You're looking good. It's certainly looking a good. different look, yeah. <laughs> With Tax Free Weekend being a week earlier this year, more people are able to benefit from it, including teachers. And that was a big complaint last year because it was a week before school started. I am just steps away from that Fair Oaks neighborhood that I've been in majority of the day. And I've been finding debris that looks similar to this. I've been wondering what it is. Came over here. It's traffic lights just completely torn apart. Now we're on the side of I-65 in Homewood. And I'm going to get my photographer to turn out these lights real fast so that you can see how dark it is out here. Now imagine being out here and trying to fix a flat tire. All I have to say is good luck. This is happening at Springville Landing Apartments. As you can see, still an ongoing investigation. We did just have more officers show up to the scene. They are going to find these little foam balls all over their house for years because it got everywhere. While it was an overwhelming mess for her, it sure was a winter wonderland for those boys. I know I may look a little strange, but this is the suit that officers and deputies have to get geared up in in order to deal with fentanyl. And it's going to last about seven years, so seven more Christmases. But I tell you, if you have not gotten your Christmas tree for this Christmas season, I'd go ahead and get it. When I show you this house, you're going to be completely amazed. It truly was a miracle. Just to give you an idea of how strong this storm was, take a look at this foundation. That's where that home used to sit, where those four people were seeking shelter for this storm. Now, during that storm, it was so strong, it picked that whole house up and tossed it across the street here. All of that family had to be removed from this house underneath all of this rubble that you see here. Yes, they just stopped selling those tickets, but people are still showing up to buy them. Unfortunately, no more sales here, but get this. They made close to $50,000 selling lottery tickets just today. On an average day, they only sell five, about 5,000, 50,000 guys. Wild. A lot of people waiting to hear those numbers. Developers have big plans for this warehouse that you see right behind me. You can tell it's a little old, but it's about to see a new life. In fact, it's going to look a lot like this, which is right across the street. It's going to include retail. It's going to include offices. This that you see right behind me, that's the developer's inspiration. It had to be an absolutely gut-wrenching moment for the shoppers here at this Piggly Wiggly. I really want to show you guys just how close this shootout was to innocent shoppers just trying to buy groceries. It happened in the parking lot right behind me. Officials tell me multiple shots were fired, and it is a miracle that it didn't hit more people. I want everyone at home to take a look at this video playing in the monitor behind me. Now, they both look very similar, but there's a big difference. Now, this one to the far side, that's I-5920. Now, the video over over here, that's a county road. Now they're dangerously similar, and that has some drivers staying off the interstate at night. Crews are already here working on these baseball fields, but with the amount of people that
that they had at this event and the amount of rain that we got over the weekend, it is going to take a lot more work to fix this problem. The whole point of this event was to inform citizens. Now the audience members had the chance to come over here during the whole event and write down questions that they had concerning different issues. They would then walk it over here to the moderator and then he would then ask the panel. So it was very audience involved. There are big trailers just like this in front of City Hall. There's also one right across the street and they will soon be filled with life-saving materials and headed to Texas. A lot of people are still out with flashlights trying to clean up what they can. Obviously, large trees like this are going to take a little bit longer to clean up, but some people are having to remove branches much larger than any of these that I could even grab. They're trying to remove them just to get inside their front door. Traffic is moving pretty smoothly out here. I would say the only thing causing drivers a headache right now is them having to slow down as they get closer to the work area. Are we one of the first to go in? We are. We're actually inside right now. This is one of the many apartment units here at the Pazitz. And as you can tell, this old building, once you come inside, it has quite the modern flair. It is a one cent sales tax increase. So one penny just like this one. And while that may not seem like a lot, it sure does carry a lot of weight. Now I'm going to take you guys inside where right now the line is all the way backed up to where this door is. But I tell you what, guys, I feel right at home because there are a ton of people from Alabama here. People from Woodlawn, Hueytown, Tuscaloosa, and Gadsden all making the drive and hoping to win the second largest lottery in history. The sleet has really been coming down hard here the last 15 minutes. I'm going to bend down and show you. It's starting to accumulate on the ground, and this right here is what is going to make road conditions very dangerous. I'm already slipping and sliding. Votes right now, but here in Walker County, the ballot looks a little bit different. Up here you have the Senate race, but below here, citizens are asked to vote yes or no on whether they want a one cent sales tax increase. Now, I spoke